Hey guys, I just had my uh, lunch, so um, now it's time to um, I drop my bottle here accidentally, and uh, now it's time to. Uh, and this one just flew away from me because of the. Uh, it's quite windy, so in the there and um, yeah, I'm just gonna do a motto blogger Rooney for you guys. So. Um, just gonna put a couple of things at the back here. That's a good thing about scooters, they have a lot of um, storage compartments. You can get one of these things or under the seat where, you know, motorcycles with gears, especially the sport bikes, they don't have any room for anything, you know. They don't have any storage under the seat. You actually have to buy a top box you know, or carry a backpack with you, so, you know, I really enjoy riding these maxi scooters, you know, they are such, uh, such a joy to uh, drive, you know, they are so practical, you know, and, uh, you know, they got the power of, you know, all those sport bikes, they can do, you know, the same speed, Obviously, they're a little bit slower, but, um, you know, not too slow either, and, um, you know, they're fully automatic, so I'm going to go that way, so um, I'm going to see if I can, you know, show you guys something different. Silverado pickup truck. So yeah, uh, so I was saying before that, um, you know, people are on Easter holidays or Easter vacations uh, now and um, a lot of people will be heading out, you know, <clears throat> getting on the interstates and, you know, going to visit different national parks or, you know, different areas, different towns. So I'm planning to uh, visit um, the Blue Mountains, which is about... 120 kilometers west of Sydney or roughly about 70 miles Google it yourselves uh, Blue Mountains National Park it's a pristine beautiful and really large uh, national park you know not far from Sydney and uh, yeah I wanna leave early and uh, take my trailer with me take a few things with me you know I bring plenty of uh, GoPros I got about three three or four GoPros plus a Sony, actually I got three GoPros plus a Sony camera that I bought recently I bought it second hand or I used one uh, and uh, yeah you know plus I will bring in my other photographic cameras and things like that you know and I'm gonna try and film as much as I can and take photos and no one coming, alright See if we can do a little bit of a line filter in here. It is legal uh, to do line filtering in the state of New South Wales where I live, but you can only do it up to a speed of 30 k's an hour. So. Has saved me a fair bit of uh, time, you know. Um, so let me see if I can. All right, that worked out pretty well. Um, because I know that set of traffic lights, uh, it takes a little while, you know, for it to go green and you kind of like stuck there. So, you know, line filtering 
uh, does help a lot. It can save you time, uh, especially in peak hour traffic. Uh, so, I want to show you a little bit of the uh, bay run. I'm surprised about this traffic. A little bit unusual. It's 2 p.m. Uh, so we anyway just gonna go around the bay to the, to my right there. So I'm gonna be turning further up to the right. So you know uh, I'm just trying to show you good scenery. You know I'm trying to make a you know nice video. So. A video with good scenery makes for a great video, I guess. I must say that Sydney's west traffic has picked up quite a fair bit in recent times. Um, you know, people are buying houses out, out in the west because, you know, by the end of the senior they have gone up so much that uh, they're just about unaffordable now for the average person. The thing is that, uh, you know, house prices are going up all over the world. And, you know, the main problem is that wages... <coughs> pardon me. People's wages or income are not catching up with the uh, cost of uh, housing, so it's becoming a real, a real worldwide problem, you know, and um, it's no wonder that there's more homeless people now, you know. I have seen more uh, homeless people in the Anton Sydney in recent times than ever before, so that's an indication that, uh, you know, um, house prices are causing uh, problems out there exorbitant uh, house prices, you know, so All right, we got the bike run there to my right, so <clears throat> I just want to film this bike run for you guys, so And then I'm going home because um, I want to stay away from the uh, peak hour traffic which is coming up in about an hour or so when the school kids come out at 3 o'clock something like that 3.15 so I just want to go home and go for my uh, daily walk and I enjoy this uh, Easter holiday break I guess there's a bike run now I told you before that I bought a scooter you know not, not a scooter like this one but an electric scooter the ones that you just grab onto the handle and you push forward using your feet but the one that I bought is electric um, it's called the Reed, um, Reed E4 Plus. It's got a range of up to 28 kilometers or roughly about um, 18 miles, something like that, you know. And uh, it takes about four hours to recharge the battery, but I don't really believe that it can do uh, 28 kilometer range um, because that's the only advertised that as the uh, as the uh, you know how can I put it like uh, in the uh, very best ideal conditions like someone obviously that's very light in weight you know say around 70 kilos or someone that's around 140 or 150 pounds and uh, you know it's only tested like for a little bit you know on on flat ground, you know, you know how marketing people are, they're always lying to you, so from what I've seen, real world uh, figures are showing um, about 15 kilometers or maybe 10 miles range, so um, that's pretty good. If I can do 10 miles on my scooter on a single charge, real world figures and um, you know, and those figures include hills and various gradients, you know, things like that. And I'm unhappy with that. That's enough for me to come and do the bike run here and go home. Um, here's the bike run here to my right. <coughs> and, um, you know, I can go to downtown Sydney with it. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see the uh, building towers in downtown Sydney up ahead. So. 
nice little bay area here. A lot of people, you know, uh, come for their walks, especially on weekends. Like, if you come here on a Saturday and Sunday in the mornings, like this place is just packed, you know. You get people here, a lot of people walking here and uh, running and jogging and things like that. And people go fishing and, you know. Yeah, I'm really happy to go out now and go home. Um, I don't really like to be stuck in peak hour traffic, so... Yeah, so I'm very excited about the scooter that I bought, this electric scooter. Um, it was on a sale, so normally you will buy $800. Um, actually, I'm gonna turn here. Let's see, this could be a bit of a shortcut here. Yeah, it was on a sale. Um, normally it will retail for $800 Australian, um, but they, they took $100 off, so it's on sale at the moment for $700. So that's, that's a pretty good deal. So I'm just thinking, yeah, I'll go this one, just uh, trying to uh, make a shortcut uh, to get home. So I'm trying to avoid a few, uh, you know, um, lights, if you like. So we go this way, yeah, spot on. So if I just keep going straight, then I got the uh, traffic set of lights where further up I can turn right and head home. So this is what I'm looking for. My nice spark there. Perfect. Yeah, the traffic is gonna get crazy in about an hour because um um, you know, today is the last day of uh, school kids going to school and, uh, you know, a lot of people taking holidays now um, for Easter and also we got the school holidays uh, happening, you know, after today, so, yeah, so, um, yeah, it's gonna be, uh, you know, really nice to get out there and, uh, you know, go on tour, go and visit. I wanna visit two national parks in this Easter break. I'm going to visit the uh, Blue Mountains, like I said before, and uh, also the uh, Royal National Park as well. So. Yeah, this bridge here up ahead uh, is going to take me home, so... So, I live on that side of the bay, and uh, the downtown Sydney on my left. building new apartments or condos on my right. That's why you can see those crimes up there on my right, so.
it was raining uh, earlier and uh, it seemed to uh, be clearing up now so man I just want to dump the bike home and go for my walk I just like going for a walk you know in my park down the road from my place it's a really nice uh, you know really nice area to go for a walk and stretch your legs So yeah, I got a full tank now, and uh, <clears throat> tomorrow morning when I leave, I don't have to, you know, go past the service station and fill her up. She's ready to go. I just uh, hook up my trailer, and uh, yeah, you know, all done. is a good shortcut because um, you know there are no traffic lights coming through here so I always like going through here traffic is gonna be really really hard in a better now from now so It's so much more practical to ride a scooter than there is a bike with gears. You know, I've been riding my sport bike that I bought recently. It's a second-hand one. It's a quite an old one, and I bought that one to learn. You know, and um, I'm ruining my good shoes. You know, like um, because you got to change gears uh, you now on the on your left shoe where you do the shifting um, on your uh, toe. Uh, you know, on your shoe you get black marks. You know. And it's really ruining my shoes, you know, that's why I have to wear old shoes, you know, when I'm running that bike. And, uh, you know, it's not, a, it's not as comfortable as this one. And it's got no storage either, you know. So, man, I love this bike. Automatic, you know. It's got heaps of uh, storage and things like that. So easy to drive. This bike is just ultra reliable. These Honda bikes are, you know, really, really good bikes. guys I'm out and uh, you know I'll do a, I'll do a more you know uh, scooter vlogs uh, for you guys you know during the week so take care guys talk to you guys soon